Welcome back, this is Ant-Man 2050, and we're talking about Mortal Kombat 11. And this time we're going to be talking about Takeda. Takeda is a great new character that was introduced in Mortal Kombat X, of course. And as we talked about earlier with Kinji, um, he's going to be exploring a lot of kind of his relations with different people. In this case, we're going to be dealing with... Um, we're going to be dealing with the relationship that Takeda has with his father in Kinji. But as the story progresses, we're also going to be seeing how he relates to Scorpion, who basically has spent much of his uh, young life training him in the ways of being a Shiri Ryu. Um, as we catch up with Takeda in Mortal Kombat 11, he's going to be kind of an emissary. He's going to be working with the special forces as he was in Mortal Kombat X, but his, al his alliances are going to be kind of divided. He's going to be giving information to Scorpion about what the special forces movements are and what they're kind of, what they've been planning. Um, and this is going to kind of get him in a little bit of hot water as the special forces are not happy with Scorpion. You know, after all, he pretty much beat up half their group and wound up killing Quan Chi in their custody, so they're not too happy with him. Along with that, as he spends time with Kinji, he's going to be there when Saito breaks. This is going to be where you're at. Takeda's story really becomes very interesting. He, Kung Jin, and Jackie are all going to have to make decisions on what they're going to do to try to help Kinji. They'll have to travel to these other realms looking for a way to repair Saito, which is going to be directly against what Raiden wants, and is going to lead them into conflict with the Special Forces. This is going to be basically testing the relationship between Takeda and Jacqueline, as she's going to have to kind of make decisions based on whether she wants to be a good soldier, or whether it's more important to help out Takeda. Uh, I think that we're going to be seeing a lot of growth with Takeda and learning a lot more about his relationships with both his father and with Scorpion as we continue the story long. Along with that, I feel like only Takeda could be the one who'd reforge Sinto. And I think that's going to be a big deal as we continue on. But having this moment, we'll get to build relationships with not only his two father figures, but with Kung Jin, as Jin is going to be the one who's kind of leading them through these different realms. I think this will be a chance to not only let Takeda have some moments, but to also give a nice uh, boost to the relationship between Takeda and Jackie. as both of them will wind up kind of playing out this part where they're trying to save his father. Which would be something that I think would actually strike a chord really easily with Jackie. Seeing as, you know, everything that happened with Jax. Either way, this is kind of where I'm seeing their story progress. And I can't imagine anybody but Takeda being the one to reforge Sinso. Now, how that really works out, that's something to be left for the game telling. Uh, I have to imagine, as they're traveling around these different realms, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of different stuff with them. And it'll be a kind of a neat way to introduce us to these other realms, as we do it with these new characters. Along with that, kind of putting them in the position where they're not just following whatever Raiden has to say. It's going to make these characters have a, a new feel to them. Either way, this is Ant-Man 2015. We're talking about Mortal Kombat 11. And I'd just like to say, play games, have fun, and be aware. Until next time, have a good one.